All right. Hello, everybody. Hey, thank you. I haven't even done anything yet. Awesome. <laughs> so, good run, good run. This wow. is uh, Marvel Spider Man, which is a fantastic game by Insomniac Studios and Sony uh, in 2018. Highly recommend checking it out. Uh, I am going to be running the second DLC for this game, so I'll show you real quick here. Turf Wars, 0%. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and be completing that. We're not going to do it 100%, but we're just going to be finishing the DLC. Uh, I wanted to quickly explain a few things that are really hard to explain during the run because we have the time built into the estimate and everything. Uh, but first, I need to know what suit we're going to be using for Sencha, because if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, a bid war. I thought you said soup for a second. <laughs> I mean, that, that might work too, but I'm, I'm not much of a soup guy myself. Like tomato? Yeah. Uh, I see Rimey era. Ooh, Rimey. Right there. Rimey? Right, so that is the web suit here. There we go. Awesome. So uh, do you want to remind me the options for Sentra so I can show everybody real quick? Because well, we, we're actually going to leave it open throughout the run. So if it changes, you let me know and I'll swap on the fly. Oh, baby cakes. Well, Ooh. good. Raimi era is winning. There's also Iron Spider. Yeah, that's this one. Okay. okay. Ooh. Nice. Underpants. Yep. That Classic. Is, that wow, is what a one. surprise. <laughs> Come on. It's a good one. Vintage. Be over here. And yes. Then, ooh, and then classic. And the classic suit is right here. So uh, be sure if you want to see a different suit. Like, I mean, come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> I'll let you know if you ASAP uh, when you need to change. Absolutely. We'll stick with Raimi for now. Uh, real quick, I have uh, all the gadget upgrades, all of the skills, and uh, the suit mods I'm going to be using are kind of a, a feedback loop that feeds into itself. So we are going to generate more focus with our gadget attacks. We're going to get more gadget refills with our finishers. And we're going to increase the, ro the rate that focus generates in general. Uh, and we have a bunch of gadgets that we use in this game uh, and in this run. Uh, we have basic web shooters that just kind of fire up and uh, can web up enemies. Generally, it takes about five of them to web up an enemy, unless it's a much larger one. Concussive Blast will do a blast of wind that basically just knocks enemies away towards walls and stuff. Uh, Impact Web is kind of like a high-powered, regular uh, web blast. It'll web an enemy up and knock them towards a wall. Really useful. Spider drones shoot people, pretty standard. Electric webs will actually uh, electrify enemies to kind of stun them, and it'll be in a chain reaction. Uh, suspension Matrix probably won't show up, but it could in very special circumstances. It kind of is a little anti-grab thing that knocks people up in the air. Uh, then a web bomb will actually explode and web up a lot of enemies at once. That's a really good one. Trip mines will be uh, placed in, in places, and then if an enemy walks over it, they'll actually get webbed to that surface. Really good for throwing on enemies. So without further ado, I think that's going to... Uh, I'm pretty much good to go here. So if we're all good, all right. Uh, so if everybody wants to count down with me from three to go in three, three two, two, one, go. go. 1.5, 2.5. Uh, all right, I'm actually going to let my couch mostly take this one for me, but I did want to introduce him real quick. We got Trey, we have Steven, and we have Richard behind me. <laughs> my name is Jeff or <laughs> We're doing first names today. Uh, well, we got four cutscenes here to start out, and then this is actually one of the hardest splits in the entire uh, run, so I'm going to let them mostly talk about what's going on here. Yeah, so Hobbs was talking about, excuse me, Jeff was talking about how, uh, uh, how the different gadgets work and everything. So one of the most common combinations of gadgets you're going to see him use is the web bomb and the concussive shot. Um, we're pretty much just trying to incapacitate the enemies because Spider-Man's very much like Batman in the sense that he doesn't want to kill anybody, he just wants to stop them. So you're going to see him go around and use that combination a ton. Um, there's also that bar that's filling up with like a really light green or light blue, whatever that is. Uh, that's his focus bar. Now that allows him to do stuff like uh, essentially like finishers and stuff. And he's also able to use that bar to heal as well. Um, I can't remember the actual term, Hobbs. What is the actual term? It's not finisher. Uh, Takedown. Takedown. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. That's okay. I call them finishers also. I mean, finisher, finisher basically works. You, you curb stomp them essentially, but like... He'll also do his uh, takedowns typically aerial because that's faster than doing it on the ground. Ground can be one of you know however many uh, different takedowns that exist, and it could be a slower animation and whatnot. I think I'm good. So I need to reload checkpoint here in order to just kind of progress later to the fight. It's it's kind of weird in the way that it'll just get rid of some enemies. I might have done it a little bit too early, but I think I was good. Uh, okay, a little early, but that's still going to save us some time. 
it's a little hard to tell sometimes when the, be, uh, the beginning doesn't go uh, perfectly according to script, which is kind of what happened this time. Uh, I'm going to heal here, a little scary. Uh, when I'm kind of glowing red like that, I actually can't use gadgets, and that makes things really difficult. All right, we're going to do that. Now, we did just recently learn that the names of these enemies are Thug, 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 Thug. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> We're almost to Brute Thug. <laughs> Not quite there yet. Blue Dumpster Thug, right next to the Blue Dumpster, and, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man thread this thug. whole time, making jokes completely relevant to very important parts of the story. Not puns at all. <laughs> so I really want to get, like, gadget refills sometimes uh, that are a little bit random. There we go. I was waiting for this brute to spawn. Yeah. So it's been a little slow start, but that's okay. There now, we go. Now yeah. the, some, some of the enemies, like the brutes and whatnot, they, they do actually take two takedowns to take down. Uh, basic enemies like the thugs only need one. And as Hobbs showed earlier, whenever he does a takedown, he does get his gadgets back. So you're going to see him use certain combinations of his gadgets. There we go. That way he can refill what he wants to refill. Mm. Now, this uh, we kind of finished the first section of this fight. It was a little slow, but like I said, there was a problem with the reload strat. Uh, so we're going to be introduced to these shield enemies. They will block your gadgets. They're really difficult to deal with. They also, like, bully you quite a bit. But we could take them down like that. So I'm going to save my focus gauge for shield enemies a lot in this run. Shield, enemies, and brutes. Uh, these spawns I'm just kind of like ready for, so trying to make sure that I stick the enemies to the walls as quickly as possible. And then a few finishers should kind of finish this one off. Where'd he go? There he went. So this is why you want to do aerial finishers, because that's a little graphic. All right, we're going to move on. <laughs> So now we're going to do a uh, pretty wild trick here. So don't blink. Hey, it worked for wow. a try. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What happened to the game? You just Hobbs? broke into that building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we went out of bounds. <laughs> um, that is called a blossom clip or web blossom clip. Uh, we use the suit power web blossom, which they were talking about earlier, in order to go through a wall because Saigo found it out and he's awesome at glitch hunting and I don't know how it works, but I know how to do it and that's all that matters. But uh, we kind of go in bounds for a little bit, but this area is not actually loaded, so now I'm back out of bounds just like that. Welcome to Silent Hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And now we're just going to kind of charge up a jump here to launch across this rooftop and then slam ourselves into a cutscene room. And then we're going to enter the room from the outside, but from inside, don't worry about it. Let's not quit the game. Let's skip a cut cinematic yeah. instead. <laughs> and we're uh, pretty much done with that first section. So like I said, that is one of the hardest, two hardest parts in this entire run, I would say. I think we should clap because he didn't accidentally quit. So let's, let's go, Jeff. Let's go, Jeff. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Proud of you, Jeff. Proud yeah, you. I was really worried about that. It didn't go perfectly, but that's okay. It's a marathon. Things never go perfectly. Uh, it's just a very hard section. I don't know what that's like. So Jeff is making that little whole web swinging thing look real easy. Not that easy. No. <laughs> Not that easy at all. There's a lot of uh, techniques for moving around in this run, uh, and... We're going to utilize quite a bit of them. I'll talk a little bit more about it later. But for now, we're in the spider bot section. Uh, I would say this is like the main, like slower portion of the run. Um, we basically just need to kind of crawl around and learn some information by, uh, you know, eavesdropping on some conversations and stuff like that. Classic. Uh, because of that, we are going to move around. The one nice thing they did for this is whenever you um, use an EMP blast to disable like a fan or something, you can walk through it immediately, as you saw back there. You don't have to like wait on the fan to stop spinning. So it's pretty fast for the most part, but we're going to listen to some conversations, wait for some people to walk around. And with that, I think we can actually take a few donations, uh, Brasencia, if you got a, got a minute. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. We've got a hundred dollar anonymous donation who says hi. 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 Sir hi. Battlehawk. Sir Battlehawk gave five dollars and said, another year, another GDQ event. Always a great time. Shout out to the runners. Now, I do want you all to know Iron Spider has been gaining some donations, just a hundred six dollars, and that will be the costume. But if you really like underwear and you have an obscene amount of money, just pocket change, four hundred six dollars can definitely uh, make him question his choice of clothing. <laughs> See, I thought for sure undies were going to win the entire time, so I thought about not even, like, recommending to get on there, but it's not winning yet. So, okay, we, we got to make that happen, people. I will switch throughout the run. But go ahead with uh, one or two more. Uh, we're actually out. <gasps> well, then what I are know. we here for today? 
What are we doing here this weekend? I'm here for underwear. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, so donate for underwear. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're actually here for TwitchCon. Everybody, Games Done Quick Express 2019 is powered by Twitch. For those of you attending TwitchCon this weekend, it is visit up, us up here in room 60 on the second floor next to Twitch Rivals. Our marathon space will be open to spectators 24 hours, including overnight throughout TwitchCon weekend. I can't reach the pinball machine, and that's a very foreign concept to me. How does nobody see a spider this size walking around? What are you talking about? Nobody sees it. I, as soon as I see a spider, I just I run away. Or he looks under the pinball table. He's like, busy fine. playing pinball. Robotic right. spider. There we go. So I activated the MP to uh, take out the pinball machines. I'm so sorry. Sad. That is absolutely against my uh, my personal policies. Boo this man. But uh, we now are going to wait for somebody to open this door for us. Oh, His name's so Dino, nice. not Gino. And going to walk right past them. He's going to see us, but we don't Danger. care. See, and nobody sees <laughs> <laughs> now it goes a little bit faster. We need to kind of take some pictures here uh, to, you know, Jay shout out skills. the maps. And there Bam. we go. Wow, nice. Go very quickly. Need to not get stuck on this guy's leg. It does happen sometimes. Ooh, okay, we're good. Uh, watch out for some very large rats. Nice rat. Ooh, that's gross. Oh. And uh, EMP a few, a few more things. Like I was saying, you can EMP and immediately move through. Uh, you can also do it over here. I'm going to place one a little safe because sometimes it uh, messes up on me. But we got the audio cue. Uh, Gangster's a little bit, you know, upset. So that means that we cut the power. Going to do it one more time. Walk over some beer bottles. And that's the last thing for this mission. Nice pick. Yeah, so now we're just going to wait for things to kind of fade out. Uh, and we can start talking a little bit more about the movement. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do as this, like, fades out is I'm going to do what is called a point launch boost. So I point launch, I just launch to a point, uh, and then boost off of it. I can do my normal swinging with, like, R2 here, and I want to try to generally swing... Oh, that was weird. Didn't get my swing there. That's fine. Uh, I want to generally try to swing, like, uh, jump out of my swing at the bottom. And I'm being a little slow here, but we should be totally fine. And then there's also these web zips that I, I can do. I can do two in a row before I start, like, losing height. They're really good for moving over buildings. But they, you know, they just kind of look like that. I can run up buildings. I can also do this awesome ground slam. Um, oh, it's not mail. generally faster, but it's a lot Gosh, more fun. God, there's four people. He just lost his newspaper. <laughs> you just blew that car, just disappeared. <laughs> yep. Some man's totally four Starbucks cup just tipped over. <laughs> Turns out if you know where the objectives are going to spawn, you can end up just kind of going there a lot of the time. So that works out pretty well. Do you think they know Spider-Man is literally just watching the oh, yeah. conversation? <laughs> like, yeah, definitely. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. You won't know you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need to follow this car. Uh, and while I'm doing it, I'm actually going to do some aerial tricks. Oh, that yeah. is for building up that focus gauge we were talking about earlier, the green bar in the top left sometimes, um, we're actually going to need to use the focus in the next fight. And so building up as much as we can in this section is good because I can only get about 150 meters away from the uh, vehicle here before the game will start to like think that I'm falling too far behind and cause the mission to end. So because of that, we just build up some focus while we're waiting. And then it's almost to a point where I can leave. I right. should be just a Back little flip, bit more. turn front. I, no, it's not going to happen. I tried I so long. I tried so long the other day. One All right. for the people. So now we're going to move towards the uh, the next mission. I'm going to get impact webs ready. Or sorry, web bomb is what I want. I'm going to try to take out the brute from stealth so that it's an instant kill. That slowdown happens sometimes. I don't know what kind of like causes it to happen sometimes and not others, but that's okay. Uh, I need to use God, finishers you're on these obliterating guys. these people. <laughs> They're going to be in the hospital for a very long time. Uh, whoops. And I think that was all of them, so now I should be able to just go. Yep. So it was a little slow because I can actually completely finish that off before the, um, the cops even get there if I'm really, really fast. But I actually have to wait for them to get in range anyways, so it's not a big deal at all. Now we're going to swing to the next objective. I think I'm a little... Uh-oh. I took a weird route. Yeah, here we go. Is that a baseball field? Good. Yes, it is. <laughs> They're in a several. park. They didn't even, didn't even see those in practice. Yeah, I went a little bit of a weird route. We're going up to uh, a mission coming up soon, though, where um, basically I need to take out a lot of enemies in a bunch of different areas. But specifically, there's going to be a bunch of enemies spawning out of the ground in groups. And the best way to handle groups of enemies that are kind of like three or four enemies 
are web bombs and concussive blasts. I used some of that in that first mission. I will try to do more of it here. Uh, but first I'm going to open with a web blossom, that suit power, that just has a cooldown um, that is refunded by now. There, you can see they're all shooting at me already. This is ultimate difficulty. I will dive pretty quick for most stuff. Uh, now, oops, there we go. I need to take care of the ones that didn't uh, get taken out, but actually that went really well. So I'm going to use a concussive blast to kind of stun them all. And then we use a web bomb to take out most of them. That guy got stuck, so that was kind of weird. There we go. We are getting a lot of donations here as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. $50 from Anonymous who says, Undy Squad, turn up. We've got... <laughs> I love it. J. Jonah Jameson who gave Ooh. $5 and said, get me pixels of Spider-Man in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's great. That was great. J. Hop Sis gave $25 and says, hey, broski. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my actual sister. So what's up, Melissa? Aw. Okay, so one more group here to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't all really get uh, stuck to walls very much, but I actually handled it pretty well, so we're looking okay. Need to take out one more, er, no. There we go, one more enemy. And now I need to uh, worry about these guys on the roof. They actually, I don't need to take out every single enemy, just enough to progress the next section. Uh, there are some bombs on this roof that I need to take care of, oops. I threw a few trip mines on some enemies there, hoping that they would get stuck to each other like that. And now I'm just going to leave the brute because he is a lot more difficult to deal with. Can dodge there. So being in the air when a whip guy is here is really scary, but I want to do it to make sure that I can take care of him quickly because the whip guys are certainly the hardest part of, uh, I'd say like most of this speed run. Anywhere where there's a, a whip guy, we have a strat to try to take care of them immediately because they're very difficult. You can see, like, right now, he's already kind of messing with me here. Um, yeah, let's just do it this way. Kind of doing a little bit of improvising. Sometimes you have to do that in this game when uh, when things don't go exactly your way. And there we go. Cleared off that roof. Uh, okay. Rio Peace has a strat where he uses now. Web Blossom on that rooftop, and it's really good, but sometimes I uh, don't end up needing it. And unfortunately, it would have probably been better here. Okay. But with that, we kind of finished that next mission. Um, we're going to go check in on the Dons. I guess to talk a little bit about the story here, Hammerhead and his group are trying to basically move in on the Mafia. So we're unfortunately protecting bad guys from other bad guys. Dang it. <laughs> but which ones are worse? That's opposite. I'd say Hammerhead's men are probably worse. So yeah. Uh, right now, you can see on the screen, it says, I don't know why I keep pointing at the monitor. Uh, it says, you are leaving the mission. Because this one, if I get too far away, it will think that I basically am trying to leave and it'll fail the mission for me. So I'm just waiting for the dialogue to end. She looks so peaceful. That <laughs> lady just sitting there enjoying her rainy day. And I should be able to move. reading a book. And then coming up here in a moment, we're going to get the best villain in any video game and everyone's favorite thing in chat. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's a Twitch streamer. <laughs> this is a Twitch streamer that is a villain. Or, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're like YouTuber Mixer because they're the bad one. Oh, right? yeah. Like, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. But, yeah, uh, Screwball here has kind of, like, set up some challenges all over the city. This is a, an any percent speed run of this, of this uh, DLC, so we're not going to do her challenges. But I just think that it's hilarious to have an overlay within our overlay. <laughs> And how many games can you see that happen? 27k views. Hey, anybody want to... Don't hit that subscribe button. It will not work. <laughs> I tried. But there is one on the page, you know? Yeah, you yeah. Hit. The subscribe button... Where is it? Over there. 2.7 million that followers. Way. That one. <laughs> After this, uh, we're going to have the map pop up, close that. We're going to just move towards our next objective. So, Percentia, do you want to give us an update on that bid war real quick? Sure. Iron Spider is only $60 behind. Ooh. Underpants is starting to get pretty close as well, 245 But it needs to pass that $500 mark for us to see those undies. Anonymous, by the way, gave $50 and said, keep doing what you're doing. Love you guys. We had $5 from Metrico who said, I'm just here to see Spider-Man in his underwear. <laughs> we also had $5 from Anonymous. They said, do I understand it correctly that Able Gamers helps people play more video games? This might just be the most honest donation I ever made. We also have $15 from Rook. They say my character in D&D can transform into a spider. So what sort of trouble should I get him into? Oh, underpants. Go. <laughs> Go. Because we just had some donations. 
Oh, wait, is it actually under yes, Oh, Oh, okay. Well, well here we'll we go. Switch it. <laughs> Let's switch this the only one up. Time Thank you, you all. You can see you donated a charity to see Spidey and his. All right. So, also. <laughs> At the exact same time, that was like the, the, the weirdest time for that to happen, uh, Miles Morales started calling me. Yes, that Miles Morales. Uh, and we actually canceled out his dialogue by opening up a backpack because the backpack has a voice line associated with it. And all that does is it just means that we can spawn this mission quicker. Miles would actually try to call back in a little bit if, uh, if this mission didn't spawn and kind of just pull us away. Can we talk about how ripped Spider-Man yeah, is? Yeah, look at that. Look at the body. He's got like a, you know, he's got like a 12 pack, man. You know what they should call those? Incredible. Spidey tidies. I forgot uh, what. Whitey tidies. <laughs> yeah, Spidey uh, tidies. He who would, who let you on my couch? <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you did, Jeff. So I went the wrong way for a second, but now we're going the right way. Uh, I need to take care of some snipers that are on the uh, transport route. Unfortunately, that can happen sometimes, so we're just going to throw this guy off. <laughs> He'll survive. He'll survive. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the police knew that you got rid of the snipers right. that yeah. they didn't know where they were. Here's the, the coolest part about, like, or one of the cool, like, attention to detail things in this game. If you look, when I threw him off the building, he actually got webbed to the side of the building, which I just think is a neat, like, uh -huh. game design thing. That's so cool. It's pretty smart. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that that car went as fast as possible, basically, um, and doesn't get, like, interrupted. I'm doing more tricks now to try to make sure that I can build up as much focus as possible. Gonna get web bomb ready for the next mission. And, oh, well, I have <laughs> never gotten on the car. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> Legitimately, that's never happened before. The aerodynamics, now you're wearing, you know, spidey tidies, and I have better aerodynamics. <laughs> it makes yeah, sense. Let's go, let's go with that. It's science. It's science. All right, so we're going to knock them all down. Ooh, that's really nice. Wow. They nice. all win at once. Charge jump over here so we can use another web bomb. Oh, well, if okay. I don't die. Okay, there we go. Ow. I'm going to use a concussive blast. I'm actually going to save my concussive blast and not use too many because I'm going to need them pretty soon. Yeah, the most difficult part is not only just webbing up enemies, it's getting them connected Ooh, to the wall or the floor after you web them up so that they yeah. can't fight anymore. Exactly. And when you also, see him get all of them at once, it's very awesome. Gadget management is really important in the oh, speedrun yeah. as well. Oh, don't parkour. Don't parkour, Spidey. Okay, well, we're going to do some improv strats. I wanted to save a focus bar for the next fight, but we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to build that focus bar up by doing front flips. Yes. Okay. But everybody knows backflips are better. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> Barrel roll. Here, I'll do a few backflips for there, you. Whoa. Yeah, wow, beautiful. that was great. You're going so fast. Wow. <laughs> By the way, we did have a $500 donation. Oh, better be for the tidies. For, from Akita Fuki, who said, shout out from the crowd. Now give me the underpants, boy. Yes. <laughs> Your right. wish has been Thank granted. Thank you. Your wish. All right. Uh, a so lot of guns in here. In here, I'm going to... Uh, take out an enemy from stealth, uh, and that lets me one-shot him. I'm going to try to build up some focus here while I'm waiting on this other thing to spawn. That's the, I wanted to be able to take him out immediately, which is why I wanted the uh, uh, extra focus gauge from the previous thing. That's really nice. nice. I want them to get all out so that I can take him out and move back towards this other dig boy that's spawning. By the way, these are called dig boys. Don't question it. Dig boy? It's great. So now we're going to, yes, get all of them, too. Let's right, get over here man. quickly because we want to use a web blossom on these brutes and hopefully stick them to the ground. That one didn't, but we're going to try to throw them. Uh, we're going to try to throw them. There it goes. On a wall. He didn't get stuck to the wall, but that's okay. We can figure it out. There we go. Yeah, perfectly placed web blossom and can do a oops. lot. We're going to throw this away while I'm waiting for this car to start moving just because sometimes it can catch me. Um, so my goal now is to actually get on this truck. Uh, if I can get on it, which is really difficult to do, I, I wouldn't say I get it every time by any means. Oh, I went too far. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry about Ow. it. Spider-Man's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Look, I healed. It's okay. <laughs> you should have wore your camo underpants instead. Okay, there we go. We'll just, go, we'll just do it that way. Uh, zip onto the car. If you can land on the car while it's, like, leaving, then you can basically just avoid... You, you can be on it at the earliest possible moment when you're able to start taking enemies out. Do a few quick time events here. Um, there's actually normally a quick time event for this as well, stopping the truck. But there's an accessibility option that lets us turn that off as well as skip all the puzzles in the uh, in the game, which is a bummer because I love the puzzles, but I also think it's nice for the speed run that we get to skip them. I'm going a little slow, so we're going to try to catch up time going down this street as fast as possible. Uh, we could do some old distortion tech that doesn't actually save time but looks cool. <laughs> so shout-outs to distortion for... Trying to fight something for the speed run, it was like it looks really cool. We thought it was faster, but unfortunately, it's not. 
So now we're going to take out the second vehicle. It's important how quickly I get to the second one because it'll actually change where I am when this fight ends. Uh, and I want to be basically at the vehicle as soon as possible. So I'm going to be in a different spot than I normally am by just a little bit. We'll see if I can like kind of react to it properly, but it might be a little weird. Oh, look at that. You're Beautiful. Just look at that cutscene. <laughs> By the way, if underwear really upsets you, you may donate in order to get him fully clothed. <laughs> you may clothe him once again. That is again. true. That is true. I do love the Iron Spider suit, and we uh, had a little bit of time with Raimi and all that. So would love to see another one. Absolutely would change if it happened. Of course, undies are good. Undies are always good. All right, so now I'm going to try to get on top of buildings without slowing down, which unfortunately didn't happen, but it's, that's like one of the hardest spots of movement, I would say. Uh, getting on top of buildings is kind of like, it's the hardest part to do fast, but it's also kind of the most important because that's how I can just take a straighter line from point A to point B. Uh, so now Hammerhead kind of messed up the police department and, oops, and uh, our detective friend Yuri is kind of on a rampage. So we're going to go try to stop her. We're going to do that by getting on top of buildings. I did it correctly this time. Yes. Nice. Uh, we're we're going to go back to that bar we were in before and just try to, like, head off Yuri, but unfortunately we're probably going to be a little too late, I would think. There's a lot of, like, very specific movement to make sure that I can clear larger gaps. Like right here, I'm gonna swing really late so that I can completely jump over all of that lower uh, construction stuff. So that way I have something to actually jump to. Uh, if I do this like perfectly, I can actually get into the bar or get to the bar like while it's still, the door is still closed. And, oh, oh, get off the thing. Okay, <laughs> well, I saw the door closed <laughs> and then it was open, so. We're gonna run down here, and yeah, this is a different scene than the last time we left the bar. Wow, your spider bot did some damage. <laughs> this is what happens when the pinball machines don't work. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that must have been what did it. That's it. That's it. Really, Spider-Man is to blame here. We pick up a spider bot, and now we're all we're all gonna get to hear Spidey's best mobster accent. Hello. Uh, hello. Lady. I just love it. Like, he's trying to do a mobster impression. So I'm waiting on a, a voice line here. Injured is my uh, is the word that I was listening for. And now I'm actually charging up a charge jump, which we didn't talk too much about. Ooh, that was weird. We didn't talk too much about, but you can basically just charge up a jump and go really far. Uh, just to get on top of the building as quickly as possible. So we're going to do... Uh-oh. Well, this is weird. Uh, let's improvise. We're going to do a um, another backpack skip pretty soon. But before I do that, I'm actually going to switch my suit power as well. Uh, we're going to go from Web Blossom, which, like I said, is really strong, and we've been using it, you know, all over the place, to Equalizer. Uh, does somebody want to tell me what Equalizer does? So Equalizer equalizes things. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Makes enemies one hit, correct? From yes. What yeah, it actually so, does yeah. is Equalizer, when you use it, will make every enemy go down in one hit, but so will you. So you have to be very careful yeah. when using it um, because you'll be, you. you'll be taken out in one hit. It's a limited uh, time usage. Right here, I'm actually just analyzing a bunch of phone signals, trying to find Vinny the mobster. Yeah, you're the one that told me uh, if you use a spider bots while using equalizer, they actually can do one hit as well. Yes. And I had no idea about that. We found that out pretty, like, uh, pretty kind of recently while I was unfortunately out of town. So that hasn't even been fully, like, routed into this yet, but it could be really useful um, for ultimate. It's very useful for the friendly neighborhood difficulty. That pose he had at the end. That was, he was like, yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> we had uh, five signals that we needed to analyze there. Um, they're always in set locations. They slightly move, but for the most part, they're set. Now we're going to follow Vinny for a little while. I'd say we can kick it over for a little a little bit more on donations while Vinny's yeah, oblivious. Yeah, sure. We have $50 from Anonymous. They say underwear squad. The most mediocre gamer gave $5 and said, Spidey is broken, needs a me undies sponsorship. Oh, uh, yeah. Rumble Cake gave $50 and said, the folks at the back of the room against the wall think you're doing a great job. Yo, I appreciate you. Uh-oh, let's people. not Check fall. That. Don't take one hand off the controller while swinging. I picked the wrong hand. Yeah. Also, I did want to point out that this is a very lovely looking alley. I mean, just it's just beautiful. I hope nobody trashed... Oh, Vinny. 
Vinny. Vinny. By Vinny. the way, if you want to make the, under square, the underwear squad upset and donate a lot of money, all you have to do is drop like 250 Oh, that's not bad, Two man. That's like five, uh, yeah, five dollar donations it, here and there. We'll yeah. totally push up Iron Spider. And then he'll be clothed and everybody will be angry. I mean, come on. I'm a big MCU fan myself, so the Iron Spider suit is definitely one that I super appreciate. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Now Vinny's here. This is one of the toughest sections of the run. I'm going to let Keys probably talk about this a little bit more, but the main thing is I'm trying to eavesdrop on various conversations. Beautiful section of movement and combat. Yeah, so has mentioned he's going to eavesdrop into conversations. And what he can actually do is while a conversation is going, he can go to the location of the next one and queue that up. Yep. But you can't do all the conversations queued up because otherwise the game gets really glitchy and it says that you failed the mission. Um, while he's doing this, as you can see, he's kind of just bouncing all over the place, knocking out snipers and stuff. And ooh, I think this happened earlier too, but... Um, if a sniper ends up seeing him and he dodges them perfectly, he can just press triangle and basically get an Oko on yeah. them. The enemies back there were supposed to get webbed up by the web bomb. They unfortunately didn't. So I'm going to have to clean them up later. I think I can still do that with time. Uh, now I need to let these guys kind of see me so they get webbed to each other. Good, it happened. And now we're going to throw a trip mine at that one and maybe see if that works. Good. I think there's still one more guy. So this is unfortunately going to end up a little slow. This just happens sometimes where uh, the web bomb doesn't like perfectly get everybody. Uh, I'm now going to use that equalizer thing and chain it into a ground slam to immediately take care of three enemies. Nice. I'm going to try to do it here too, but I just went to the wrong spot. So I think I'm just going to have to take these guys out normally. And there we go. Nice. Okay. Great. We have $50 from J-Hop's mom. She says, oh. make sure Jeff gets his ice cream. Yeah. Hey, Cause, I hope you exceed your goal. Love you. Hey, hey, Jeff, what flavor ice cream do you want? Uh, I don't know. Let's put some Reese's peanut butter cups in that. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh, we're getting ice cream after this, boys. <laughs> so now we're going to go back to Web Blossom, and then we're actually going to fast travel over towards the uh, last go. mission. The one I just did before was the second to last mission. So we're coming up near the end of the run pretty quickly here. Uh, the last mission here, like the first one, is also really <laughs> difficult. Oh, yeah. Uh, average Monday for me. You know, this is nothing. the New York subway. This Here's the, the thing. Subway. I, I believe that New York would have no problem with that. Like, <laughs> the, the people of New York would just see that and go like, yeah, yeah, this is just a normal day. They do see it. I love this game. <laughs> Uh, so what's happening here now is that uh, Hammerhead and his goons have tried uh, to kind of like, uh, they're trying to pour cement on the Magia Dons to uh, basically just take care of them. Uh, and so we need to stop that from happening. So there's basically constant time pressure in this. Um, but we're also going to try to use a lot of trip mines that I'm out of. Ooh, I'm very low on gadgets, actually. Ooh, this is going to be scary. Um, let's improvise some more. Main thing is I need to get over to these cars when they spawn because I want to use a web blossom to take out that whip guy right there. The whip guy is like the hardest part to deal with, so it's really important that I do. Now I'm just going to take out enough enemies to get uh, to force some others to spawn, and once that happens, I'm going to reload the checkpoint, uh, which should be right there. Okay. So when I reload this, it's going to do a couple things. It's going to refund my suit power, which is important for later, but it's also going to change where I am in the fight to uh, basically despawn a bunch of enemies. Now I'm going to try to take these guys out with a web bomb and cuss the blast. Uh, wrap him up. Nice. Yes, that barely worked. Uh, wait for these guys to fully spawn. Try to stick them all. That was really good. Nice. I'm going to throw a bunch of spider drones because I'm waiting right now anyways. So I want, to toss, I want to toss them around here. I think they're going to get kind of stuck over there, but that's fine. I'm waiting for this minigun guy to completely spawn. Got to use two fin uh, finishers on him, or two focus gauges, that is. And now we just have a few more enemies to take care of. One more punch to get a full focus gauge there. Full focus bar. Uh, impact webs, you can see, are really useful. And there we go. Now we've got, we just got to stop the cement mixer. And the next important thing is we're going to use our third and final uh, suit power, Negative Shockwave. Time is coming up very fast here. We're going to have a couple cutscene skips, and then the final boss, which is going to go down super fast in two phases. So take a look at this. We're going to jump to him, activate our suit power, and then hold up the gadget wheel to slow down time to get the uh, suit power to hit him multiple times. Phase one done. We're coming up on time and get ready, because we are going to knock out phase two and time. Nice. Gosh, great boss right there. 
I'm sorry there's not more time to explain that glitch, <laughs> but it just kind of shows up and then you're done. Uh, it just it seems to just apply damage multiple times over the boss. But yeah, that was Spider-Man. I got under 31 minutes, which I'm super happy with. Uh, I was really looking for a 31 or 32, so it did better than I expected. And because of the glitch we did, this is just kind of a funny aside. Uh, there are gun, there's gunfire going on all over the place. There are thugs trying to beat up cops and stuff because we messed up the uh, the fight before. <laughs> so they're just sitting in the back of the cutscene. Uh, you can kind of hear it going and all that, but. With that, uh, thank you all very much. Wanted to quickly shout out uh, some awesome community mem members for Spider-Man. Like, Sayo is a great uh, glitch hunter for this game. Uh, Burke Maverick, we got uh, to, uh, Malja, or I always pronounce your name wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Rio Peace is the world record holder for this category. Good friend of mine. Please check him out because he's way better at this game than I am. Uh, and we got a bunch of new people too, like Sea Average and Prince Vortex and stuff like that. Pestilus. So please check this game out. And with that, I think we'll uh, get ready for the next <laughs> run as we get a few more fights <laughs> happening in the background. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Thank you, everybody. Absolutely beautiful by Jay Hobbs. That, that was a fantastic run. A Spider-Man will never be the same. We did have an anonymous $10 donation that said, I bet Batman wouldn't be seen traveling the city in his underwear. Or would he? Well... I think it's about that time that we move on to Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. First, though, kick back and enjoy this Twitch ad. We'll be right back. Welcome back to GDQX 2019, where we are currently setting up for our next run, Devil May Cry 3. I am the aptly named Musical Dare Devil. I will be your host for that, as well as the next game. We just saw a run of Spider-Man featuring Spider-Man in his underwear, and based on the way donations are going, it seems that we will be seeing some shirtless Dante. In addition to that, we have our bonus game incentive coming right up, and if I just take a look at how that is going. Looks like we are still quite behind on that, so definitely get your donations in if you would like to see our bonus game. That is coming up right after Super Mario World, so you only have a few more hours to get that in. So while we get set up for Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, I will get to a couple of your donations. We have an anonymous $50 donation. Yay, GDQ! I just got my first job out of college, and now I finally have enough money to donate. Thanks for providing countless hours of distractions during those times I should have been studying. Well, you can definitely tune into our YouTube channel. We upload all of our runs fairly quickly after events, and you should probably study. 
Anyway, we have $10 from Doku. Looking forward to more games done quick. Games helped me and still do, and they will help those involved in Able Gamers too. Donation goes to save the nights. And as that donation mentioned, GDQX 2019 is supporting Able Gamers. There are millions of gamers with disabilities who can't play video games without expensive specialized equipment. The Able Gamers charity helps gamers with disabilities by providing that equipment free of charge. Their mission is to create opportunities that enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. And of course, we are broadcasting live from San Diego, California at TwitchCon. My feed just disappeared there for a second. Games Done Quick Express 2019, in fact, is powered by Twitch. For those of you attending TwitchCon this weekend, visit us in room 6D on the second floor next to Twitch Rivals. Our marathon space will be open to spectators 24 hours, including overnight, throughout TwitchCon weekend. So indeed, if you happen to get stuck in that line at Twitch Rivals or it's a bit too long, just head on over here. We are right around the corner, pretty much. Or maybe if you were at a panel just got out. We're right here. All the panels are pretty much right next door to us. And we just have over $3,200 towards the bonus game Super Ryu World 2, 100%. That is a $10,000 incentive. So yeah, we've got about $7,000 to raise in only a few hours. So again, if you want to see that bonus game and make GDQX just that little bit longer, definitely get your donations in for that. All right, and I'm hearing we are good to go on setup, so take it away, Waifu.